Today, we're with Mr. Tim Dodd, who leads the project and key technologies team at IFM Electronic. Now, their team's goal is to help customers build solutions and add real value to the business. So, Tim, we're here to talk about how companies can collect machine data and make it visible to the business. This conversation's been around for years, Tim, like some of us, but what is it that IFM do that is actually makes a difference? Yeah, it's a good question because it has been around a long time. So what IFM is trying to do is take, take into account what the customer has. So the customer has reduced resources, they may not have as many skilled people on site anymore, um, and money is tight. So what we're trying mm, to do, yeah, and we have done over the last sort of, sort of six years, is develop a system or develop systems where there's software and hardware combinations which allows the customer to very quickly build a solution, start getting the data, and get a very quick return on an investment and, and, and keep it dead simple for them. Okay, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. What are the main areas that your customers are looking for and how does IFM help them? So there's, we've kind of looked back over the last four or five years of what, what have been customer and ask, uh, customers asked us for. Mm. And we've, we've sort of put it into three pillars now. We have machine health, we have process improvements, and we have energy. Out of those three things, energy and uh, machine health are, are really the key thing. So what we've now done is built up a, a product ranges related to, say, energy and machine health that a customer can quickly implement. And we've also looked at how, how do we get information from their legacy plant that already exists and bring that data in, because they might already have an energy meter, for example, and bring that into somewhere where they can start looking at the data and analysing it. Right, got you, understood. Can you show us how these goals can be achieved? Yeah, so we've, we've got products we can show where we basically have very simple plug and play. So you have a sensor already exists. Yeah. We can put a Bluetooth, what we call a Bluetooth dongle on the end of that and put power into it. There's no PLC involved, there's no logic involved, then we have an app on a phone and we can connect to the Bluetooth dongle and suddenly we're now getting data back to our phone, which we could record. So we have customers who are just recording data on their phone, say for a flow meter, and then they combine that with other information and they have then easy data collection. And we can build that system up into a more connected system if we wanted to. Right, excellent. Okay, that sounds very strong, very structured. So Tim, um, you've talked about keeping it simple, giving the customer a quick return on investment. Can we actually see practically how you achieve that? Yes, let's go and have a look at the IFM Innovation Centre. So, first of all, um, you were talking about machine health. Yeah. Can you explain that to us again? So, when we talk about machine health, what we're normally looking at is, is, is the reliability of the machine and trying to predict uh, when you need to maintain it or before it's about to fail. So, we've got a number of smart products which makes this dead easy. It used to be a dark art. We mentioned vibration condition monitoring. They go, oh, no. So what we've got here, we've got uh, a smart sensor. It's an IO link device, but it's an accelerometer. So it does all of the analysis there, and we bring it back into an industrial uh, Ethernet module, and we can then collect the data centrally. And you can fit that to any kit that already exists. It's very simple. We can glue it, or we can drill and tap it if you want to. Very easy to do. And we're already now main getting data back from the machine to predict when it's likely to fail. Excellent. OK, that makes it very easy to understand. You talked as well about energy monitoring. Yes. Big subject for us. Yeah. I see down here a compressor. Yes. So what's IFM's approach in this respect? Okay. So the thing about energy is everybody's probably got already their incoming mains sorted. They'll have systems there that they bought from the supplier that does all the energy monitoring, tells them three phase, does, does all the, everything they need. But what we're seeing a lot of people wanting to do now is get down to a machine level for two reasons. One, to know where the machine's running and secondly, to measure one machine against another. So what we're providing is a solution that allows them to use what's out there potentially or just add simple items. So in this case, a current clamp. Very simply done. All we need to do is, is, is put it over the cable that already exists, and then we can start collecting data about current uses, usages. We can then convert that into kilowatt hours and give the customer a usage per machine. Okay. Again, a very straightforward approach to that. Yeah. Okay. Now, the other thing that you mentioned was Bluetooth, a Bluetooth dongle. Yes. Could you explain how this works for us? Okay. This is our Bluetooth dongle. Uh, we just have power to the to to the sensor, whatever it might be. This is, this is an IOLink sensor, and then we have a phone app. And all I need to do is, is scan the network, and give it a minute, and then I can connect to it, and immediately I'm on collecting yeah, data. I can see. 
Okay, so we understand now what's taken place there, but how do we get the data back and make it usable? Okay, so let's have a look at Mineo. So okay. Mineo is a, a very uh, very quick and easy codeless data acquisition software solution we've got. And let me just quickly show you how quickly we can get that signal that now exists over there, but put it into industrial Ethernet module and get it into, into a full system. Okay. So we're going to talk you through the process. So we, 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 we have the screen. This is the screen that you'll be met with. We have mm -hmm. device management. We go into device management and then we will scan the system and that will now go and find the unit. So that's found the unit and it's populating it out and it's telling me because there are IO link sensors what is connected. So we have the, uh, we have, for instance here, we have a valve, valve unit over here. So we, we can drag it in and now it's in our list of available process data. Okay. <coughs> so now we go to our dashboard tab and we hit our dashboard tab and now we can just simply create a dashboard we can add a new dashboard and we can drag our process data over and we can now resize the tile. We can change it to level or we can change it to a gauge or we can put it to a line chart. We can put images behind it if we want to. Then we save it and now we are collecting data. That's all re recorded and we have the ability over the top here to analyze it later, set up tasks and tickets and uh, send emails to each other. Okay, so you've just done that in a matter of a few moments. Yeah. That didn't look complicated to me. It, it's designed to be intuitive, is the word. We, we have wizards as well that can take you through it. We have lots of videos to make it happen. But it's really, we call it a codeless environment. Okay. You, you and me don't need to be IT experts. We don't need to be able to write code in HTML, whatever. And we, we can very easily have something up, up and running. And you can make it hierarchical as well so that um, you, on the shop floor, the operator can see the bit that they need and the business can see the bits they need and only certain people can change things. Uh, so it's very simple, but it's a very simple process. Okay, Tim, that was really good. I can really see the structure of what we've looked at there. So are you suggesting that you don't need to be an IT whiz to, to make these things happen? That, that, that is the plan. Okay. To be honest with you, that's the plan. So yeah, we're trying to put it in a place where you, you follow some simple steps, almost like a wizard, uh, with, with a little bit of information, I, IP addresses, you know, leave a little bit, but otherwise you can get data back without having to write code, without having to be the expert, and without having to set up servers and IF, uh, you know, Wi-Fi networks, etc., to make it really difficult, so we can be very quickly up and running with data. Right, okay. That collectively does make a lot of sense. And obviously now we're at a time when people are looking at the whole machine data harvesting process in a very different way. Yeah. Have you seen a change in the market? We've, yes, we've definitely seen a couple of things we've seen. People are actually um, not just wanting to collect data for data's sake, they have a reason for doing it. So we look at machine health, for instance, people are really now interested in, in predictive maintenance rather than reactive. Um, and we're also seeing a shift from um, a process where you'd have it sitting on a, on a hard drive or a server to the cloud which in the UK, to be fair, is taking a bit more time than it does in London, but we are seeing a shift now to a cloud because people see the, be the, the benefits of not having to worry about their IT infrastructure. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Tim, thank you very much for this because this is a really refreshing look at this subject. Now, obviously, it's a fast-paced environment. There are lots of things happening and taking around, but critically, it's important to get efficiency uh, going. So. If you're watching this today and you'd like to find out more about this subject, why not contact Tim and the team here at IFM? Obviously, the key thing here is that we're in an era when we need to take action in order to keep our plants running efficiently, avoid costly downtime. Why not contact the team? Find out, look at their solution, see what they're offering, and uh, make the best use of it. Really appreciate all the data and the demonstrations uh, today. Thank you, Tim. And we look forward to seeing you all on our next interview.